waking me up. I'm gonna be professional. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome to Paul's Beer Reviews. Uh, we are uh, at the Sportsman Beer House in Huddersfield, visiting our good friends uh, John and the rest of the team at Lord's Brewing and the family. Um, hope you're doing well today. Um, because we're up north, I thought it'd only be right for me to drink a Timmy Taylor pint. So I'm on the Timothy Taylor bulk maker. Um, there she is, cast version, in the glass, looking lovely. As you'd imagine, really smooth, half finger, slightly off white head, lovely lacing on the glass. There's the color of it, nice dark golden color. Let's get a whiff, see if we can get an aroma on this beer. Dark fruit. Bit of toffee on the malt. Bit of citrus, tiny bit of citrus, maybe a bit of orange peel. I so said the aroma's coming through. On the first week, I wasn't getting anything, but oh, it smells quite nice actually. Sort of getting a Jaffa cake vibe from it. it smells really nice. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. goes down like silk. That's lovely. Really malty. Really well balanced. Tiniest bit of a bitterness at the back end, but the bitterness is still, it's a slight citrus. It's an orange peel thing that kind of goes from start to finish. Quite reminiscent of the um, the Fuller's yeast that they use. There's always like an orange marmalade type thing in the background. Getting that with this, perhaps not as pronounced, but it's there. And the maltiness is a subtle bit of sort of caramel, bit of toffee. That's so drinkable. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what the ABV on this. Did you know what the ABV was done? Does it I say have on? no idea. So. No. Anyone leave the comments below. If anyone drinks uh, Bolt Maker on cask round here, let me know the ABV. That is so drinkable. That is so drinkable. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's a proper four percent. It's a it? four percent. Four percent. So yeah. nice and easy. Like I could say I could drink that all day. Nothing offensive about that whatsoever. Lovely and multi. Beautifully drinkable. Smashable, glides down, it's a winner. Uh, it, it's probably as best as I'm gonna get it. And it's not the best ale I'll ever drink in my life, but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm gonna give it a solid eight out of 10. So Timothy Taylor's bulk maker on cask in the, uh, what's it called again? The Sportsman's Beer House in Huddersfield. Solid eight out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this quick review. Hope you keep it well. Speak to you soon. Cheers.